Welcome, this is the energy vibration lesson for all sun, moon, and rising Virgos. This is um, the 14th week of the year 2017. The week begin from April 3rd until April 9th. I want to say to each and every person out there, wonderful, it's a wonderful week. It's a week of a lot of energy vibration for it because your own energy vibration is here. The Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Queen of Cups is also here. The Sun energy is here. Data, um, clarity is here. And in the middle of the week, you have the energy of the Sun. Your focus is the Ace of Sword. It is the Ace of Sword. Your focus is the Ace of Sword. And this is just wonderful because whenever the energy of the heirs of sword comes up is that you have triumph over obstacles that has been blocking you in your life and this is wonderful this is wonderful congratulations to everyone out there all you Virgos Sun Moon and Rising Virgos please remember always to listen to the Sun Moon and Rising sign Please remember to listen to the April um, reading because the month of April reading is also out. As we look at this week, you Virgos, this is going to be wonderful. I've said that this week is going to be a slow, successful year for you guys. And it is going to have that. You have the Ace of Swords and congratulations. This is a wonderful, extremely wonderful energy to have. As we look at your week, it's going to be a wonderful, powerful week. And as I break down the week for you guys, which is just going to be newness, new energy, new things are going to be happening. New, wonderful things are going to be happening into your life. A lot of successful energies are going to be happening. We have the sun energies. Yeah, it is all about the number one. Your energy vibration in this week is the number one energy. The energy of the star with the energy of the head, the uh, of the ace of sword is a wonderful wonderful energy that you are not aware of that is going to happen for you things are just going to be magically magically happening to you guys in this week it's going to be a successful week for all you virgos out there i want to say congratulations whoever you are out there once the number one new energies new beginning things have been broken off that no longer serve you you're moving away from certain situation you're understanding what is is what was happening on monday you have the 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 energy of the number two the two of swords energy which is just so a wonderful fantastic energy it is the energy vibration of clarity clarity is coming to you so a lot of earth signs are having clarity in this week and i know why because the energy of the moon together is helping the earth sign people to find clarity in certain situation and bringing in um cleansing to whatever situation that is happening and letting you see um the people around you and the sort of a negative energies and the people who were working against you so on monday clarity good news is going to come because clarity is coming the sun comes out on tuesday which is just a wonderful wonderful energy vibration it's vibrant it's happy it is bringing this clarity is bringing so much new energy new stuff because the sun is always endings of something and a new successful beginnings of something else beside the sun you have the energy of the star you could never ask for another powerful week so it is this one because the um energy of the star is here and this is so wonderful what that is going to do on thursday it's going to help you to bring in that motherly feelings that to connect some people are going to connect with a water energy person who um is going to support you in all your endeavor because the energy of the star is as if you have overcome something that someone of a water sign did to you and you have overcome that because you are in your own energy vibration on friday so friday is going to be and as i look where the sword is that means you have, have overwind something you have 
um, you are triumphant over someone who is of a water energy who have been affecting certain certain situation in your life and this is just wonderful you have just got up walk away from the situation realize that there is no more help for this person realize that this situation you have learned from this situation realize that you can only heal the situation if you accept how this person is and don't try to change them as we move on and we look at the energy on Saturday we have the five of swords in reverse I love the five of swords in reverse because this is saying that what's to ever that has been happened the conflicts and the fighting and the battles that was there you have over you have gone over and you have won these battles and these battles will no more be fought because the energy of the sun comes in the because on Monday you had the clarity and the energy of the sun is standing over the five of swords in reverse which is so wonderful the sun energy versus the energy of the hair is always very powerful because the sun is bringing um, healing to whatever this air sign person air sign people situation that carry a conflicting chaotic situation in your life I love these cards because when I I am given reading with these cards everything comes out so as I move forward and I look at the energy vibration we have the energy of the world and congratulations so on Sunday whatever is happening success is coming to some people endings new beginnings you're going to feel yourself you're going to feel good about yourself you're going to understand what that journey was all about you're going to understand that life is about being in the flow of things you have let go from all that you were holding on fast to you have let go and now you have seen your way forward you're seeing your way forward and you're moving out of a negative situation and a cleansing with someone of um of 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 a water sign and this for some people can be a situation with your mother because this is the energy vibration with an earth sign with a water sign is always cleansing some people can have a situation with your mother some people it doesn't have to be that it can be a situation with your sister or whatsoever but whatsoever that was happening and people were trying to hold you down pull you back um you know not helping you to elevate yourself this is going to come to an end and healing is going to come in as i've always said to people no one can um no one has the right to stop anyone and no one has the right um, to wish anyone anything bad because we all have free will and whatsoever someone has and someone is being dedicated and having this wonderful situation in their lives we should all respect that okay as we go forward the last card and last energy i have for you guys is all that glitters all that glitters i am using my favorite one of my favorite cards the wisdom of the oracle and you get you you have gotten all that glitter number 16 one and six is seven so that is good clean up okay all right um as we look at the um all that glitter it says i need to see beyond the superficial the desire to don on the mask or dress something up to distinguish its true nature trying to be something you're not chasing after every a sparkling new thing being materialistic so you know i can understand this but i'm i am not here to judge people i'm here to let you know that not everything that sparkle is gold okay not everything that sparkle is gold it's only human to want to be a boy to oneself in trimming and painting a pretty picture of herself. It's naturally um, to want to anticipate, to inquire, to trap the status or to deny them as a statement of rebellious. But it is sparkling. Is it better? whether it's a fast car or a big house or a little or you know the position of stamp of authority or the sparkle 
of the Demolish This item let you know something about a person, place, or thing? Or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they will symbolize, will dedicate themselves to certain things, yet still this card symbolizes it's time to see beyond the abundant and the poverty of the underneath alignment of the surface. Learn to recognize the mask people wear and the motivation underlining them. Imagine that all the glitter is gone. What you still desire the object will you still desire the object of the person remember this and i'm saying to you namaste until next week